but we still want to assess the mobility of a rib. If we're suspicious of a rib, what does a rib look like? All right, or I should say, how does it present? Can anyone give me something? You guys throw out a rib. Uh, complaints. Pain with, pain with deep inspiration. That's like, dang it, that's like number one, right? Um, and they will talk about, you know, this pain that's like this, <laughs> hurts the cough, all right? Um, traditionally, I have not found as much success trying to thrust on a rib. I don't know, for other people, it doesn't work out too well for me. Um, so as far as an assessment, okay, let's go through the way that ribs don't like to move, and that's with opposing motions. Or, you know, the, the ribs don't like that. What does that mean? I want to actively, you guys bring your arms up, I want you to side tilt, all right? That may bring out some symptom right here. I want to qualify that. Is that the symptom that you're talking about? He says no. It feels a little tight, but it's not my pain that I have. I then have him actively dip his left elbow towards the back wall. He says, I really don't like that. Okay? What exactly are the mechanics going on here? I'm not sure. All right? It seems to be some side bending and opposing rotation, creating a binding effect through the muscular tissue around that rib, trying to reveal what? The asterisk, the sign. I want, to, I want to try to find a reproducible means through active motion. So he says that reproduces. Uh, if he says no, it doesn't. Uh, the way that we assess this, and you know, if you guys need to come up here, you can, uh, because your hand placement with the left is going to be like this, right? And then you're going to feather through like so. And you could do the same thing. You could do a lower, a mid, upper, I don't know, too hard. Got scapula in the way. So you'll find a couple other ways that we can take a look at that. Now, when I'm there, can I also add some rotation? Potentially, if I didn't get anything to come out, I can also assess that rib's mobility in prone position, costotransverse. I could do a UPA. Maybe it's really irritable over that area. Okay, but just looking at the active motion and passive physiologic, at least that gives us grounds for a reproducible means that if I did impart a treatment, I have a way to reassess if what I did in fact helped them, right? Because that's what's most important. And was that the complaint that they came into the clinic with? Things to look at, all right? Let's at least try that and then we'll go into uh, you know, a couple pearls with the, the sideline technique that I found to be very effective we can assess the accessory and turn that into a treatment, okay?